Holy smokes, guys, we just got some brand new leaks about the long-awaited MacBook Pro redesign, and to my surprise, it could actually come a lot sooner than we previously expected. So in this video, I'm gonna go through all of the new leaked details, I'm gonna explain why they're gonna matter, and I'm gonna give you guys seven reasons for why you might wanna skip the M5 series and wait to upgrade, just like I've personally been doing for the past few years. But before I jump into those seven reasons, let's first get into all of the brand new leaks. Just the other day, Mark Gurman reported a massive dump of leaks about Apple preparing two brand new MacBook Pro models codenamed K114 and K116 having thinner and lighter frames and running the M6 line of chips. Yes, that means that the redesigned models will not be part of the M5 series, which Apple just released the base 14 inch model, which by the way is insanely fast, scoring over 4,300 single core and somehow 18,000 multi-core, which is just insane. Which means that yes, the M5 Pro and M5 Max models are gonna be even crazier, which Mark Gurman says they are coming early next year with code names J714 and J716 for both the 14 and 16 inch models. But Mark just revealed that the brand new redesigned M6 Pro and M6 Max MacBook Pros could be coming as soon as late 2026, basically a year from today, and only around nine months after the high-end M5 models are expected to come, which I honestly didn't think would happen. Now getting into the even more important details, Mark Gurman and other sources have said that the display is finally being upgraded from the current gen mini LED, which has been the same since 2021, to a brand new tandem OLED display, which will be pretty much identical to the one we have in the M5. 5 iPad Pro. And that is honestly a great thing because the display on the iPad Pro is the best display I have ever seen in any tablet or laptop with 1600 nits of brightness, with pure blacks thanks to OLED, and with no blooming halo glow effect. It also greatly improves the screen to screen response time, which is essential for gaming and making that 120 hertz actually feel really smooth. And this actually matters a ton for the next huge leak that Mark confirmed, and that's the fact that the new M6 series will come with a touchscreen display for the first time ever, which many people thought that Apple would never do. And the final massive leak that Mark Gurman confirmed is that the notch at the top of the MacBook Pro is finally going away, being replaced with a hole punch cutout for the camera, similar to what Apple does on their iPhones before they add in software to create the dynamic island. And I think Apple's gonna do the exact same thing on the new MacBook Pro, finally adding in the dynamic island at the top and integrating a bunch of new software features to make it even more useful. And now with those leaks out of the way, I wanna get into the seven reasons for why you should skip the M5 series and wait for the redesigned M6 series MacBook Pros. Reason number one is that the M6 series of chips will be even faster. They're gonna be coming with the brand new two nanometer chip tech from TSMC, which is switching from FinFET, which the industry has been using for 12 years since 2013, to the brand new GAFET, which is much more efficient and has much less power leakage. And this is gonna allow Apple to easily add even more cores on top of the large performance gains that's gonna happen with each core. And I think the M6 Max will likely finally be the chip that outperforms Nvidia's top desktop GPUs, but it'll be in a laptop. And now for number two, as fast as the upcoming M5 Pro and M5 Max models might be early next year, the design is still gonna be exactly the same, no changes whatsoever. Now fast performance is great, but if the laptop design is the same, especially if you already have the redesigned model from 2021, then it won't really change the way you feel when you use your laptop, especially since most of the time, you're not gonna be pushing the performance to the max, like when you're web browsing, watching YouTube, or whatever else. But the new M6 series will be redesigned. They're gonna be thinner, they're gonna be lighter, they're gonna be more portable. The chassis itself will probably be smaller, thanks to Apple reducing the bezel size. Just overall, a more enjoyable and fresh experience with the brand new design every single time that you use it. 
Now moving on to number three, the display is gonna look completely different, ditching the notch. For the first time in years, it will be completely redesigned and looking super fresh, not only being a dead static notch anymore, but actively and dynamically adjusting to your content and controls, making it actually useful for the first time. This right here is a major area where it'll feel fresh and new every time you use it, which subconsciously makes you feel like it was actually worth spending the money to upgrade. And since it looks completely different, it's instantly recognizable as the brand new model with the dynamic island, which does matter to people even though they don't want to admit it. Now for number four, this right here is gonna help with resale value. I mean, as soon as this 2021 design came out, the used prices of the previous MacBook Pros tanked. Nobody wanted those anymore because the new ones had the fresh, nice new design with more ports, with Apple Silicon, the much better mini LED display and everything else. And the same thing's gonna happen with the new M6 series MacBook Pros and their new redesign which everyone will want since it has that new dynamic island, it has the new touchscreen, and much more. So if you're not gonna be skipping the M5 series models, you're risking losing a ton of resale value as soon as the M6 models come out. And now for number five, we have battery life. The new M6 series of chips will have a massive boost in efficiency with the new two nanometer chip tech from TSMC with gaff it, which has less power leakage. And if Apple decides to add even more efficiency cores, as well as making the e-cores even faster, you'll be able to run more tasks on the e-cores exclusively without even having to power up the performance cores. And that has a massive impact on battery life. On top of that, Apple's gonna likely come out with a new N2 Wi-Fi and Bluetooth chip by that time, which is gonna be more efficient, as well as likely the C2X modem for 5G cellular. So I think the battery life is gonna be amazing. Now for number six, these new models will be future proof to the point that you will not be tempted to upgrade for years. I bought the 16 inch M1 Max MacBook Pro back in 2021 and I still haven't upgraded because the design hasn't changed. The display hasn't changed. The performance is still good enough for all of my needs. And four generations later, it still feels nice and fresh. And the same exact thing is gonna happen with these redesigned M6 MacBook Pro models. So if you upgrade to these, you're not gonna feel any FOMO for years. And honestly, this is gonna be like peak iPad because it's gonna have a Gaffet chip, two nanometer, it's gonna have 5G cellular, it's gonna have tandem OLED, it's gonna have a touchscreen. This is gonna be the best MacBook in years. And finally for number seven, of course there is the chance that Apple's gonna add even more surprise updates that we don't even know about yet. It could be upgraded ports, potentially adding even more ports. It could be exclusive features that we haven't even heard before. Who knows, but Apple usually has some surprises up their sleeves like let's say the new 18 megapixel center stage selfie camera. Nobody was expecting that at all and it was really, really nice to have. So there you guys go. Those were seven reasons why you should skip the M5 and wait for the redesigned MacBook Pros. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below and subscribe above for more videos like this one. Check out one of those two right there. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.